I'm Bill Sweet and welcome to the Dad Bod. Today I'm going to be showing you the home try-on process and the glasses quality for both Warby Parker and Glasses USA. This video is basically a continuation of the Zenni Optical versus iBuy Direct comparison and review that I did 11 months ago. So today I'm going to compare what I got between the two of them and then also compare them to the Zenni and the iBuy Direct that I got a year ago. And then I'm going to give you an overview of my order from Overnight Glasses and then I'll explain why I don't actually have anything from them to review. I've been wearing glasses now for about 20 years. At first it was just every now and then when my eyes got tired, but as I got back into college 12 years ago, I ended up upgrading to wearing glasses full time. And they can get pretty expensive, especially without vision insurance. I started off getting the cheaper ones for about 150 bucks at the eye doctor's office. Eventually I got decent vision insurance and started getting upgrades like blue light blocking, anti-glare, scratch resistance, and nicer frames. But nowadays you can actually find affordable glasses with even more varieties from shapes, sizes, colors, brands, and different features with online companies. And by the way, I'm going to get in so much trouble for this video because my wife works at an eye doctor's office. But my pain is your game. Throughout the majority of this video, I'm going to go over the Warby Parker and the Glasses USA. And then, like I said, I'll compare them to the Zenni and I Buy Direct at the end. But I want to start by telling you my experience with overnight glasses. So there I was, getting ready to go on my honeymoon. I needed a new pair of sunglasses because I broke them about a week before we left. I know that many online companies take a good week or two to get you the glasses that you need, but I only had five days. So I decided it would be a good time to try out overnight glasses. I placed the order for a pair of nice sunglasses on Tuesday because we were leaving on Sunday. I paid extra to ensure that they were overnight and then I waited. Wednesday, I got an email saying that they were in production. Thursday, nothing. Friday, I got another email saying that they were in the final stages of production. Saturday, nothing. Sunday, after we got to the resort, I ended up sending them an email asking them to cancel my order. They told me that they wouldn't cancel it, but they would refund me the expedite fee that I paid. Uh, no. I told them that I bought some tinted covers to put over my glasses for the trip and that I no longer needed or wanted sunglasses from them. I bought a pair from a different company when we got home. After a few back and forth emails, they finally agreed to cancel the order and then it took a while for the refund to be issued. That's about as far as I can review overnight glasses and that's about as far as I want to. Your name is overnight glasses. First off, why should we have to pay more to get overnight glasses from a company called Overnight Glasses? And why were they still not finished being made after five days? It doesn't make any sense. So here we are with Warby Parker and Glasses USA. They both have a program where you can order a few pairs with your prescription and try them on at home. You keep what you like and then you send back what you don't with a prepaid label. And then you only get charged for what you keep. So both companies have very affordable glasses. You can find glasses for like $40, but I plan on keeping one pair, which means I want to get something that I'm actually going to use. And for me, I prefer the blue light, the anti-glare and the scratch resistance. So I upgraded the lenses, which is why mine cost a little bit more. But if you don't want to upgrade them, you can get a pair for like 40 or 50 bucks if you need to. With Warby Parker, you can try on up to five pairs. So I decided to try the Roosevelt, the Chamberlain, the Chamberlain Wide, the Wilkie Low Bridge Fit, and the Hayden. All five of these cost $95 each for the regular frames and lenses. And then for all of them, I upgraded the lenses. They come with the scratch resistant anti-reflective lenses and upgrading to the blue light filtering is about $50 or you can upgrade to transition lenses with blue light for $100. I only did the $50 upgrade. With Glasses USA, you can only do two pairs. And I went with the Muse M7280 for $89 and then the Atoto Giovanni for $98. And then they had a 25% off discount going on, which lowered the price even more. For both pairs, I went with the upgraded lens package to add the scratch resistance and the anti-reflective coating. And then I had to upgrade again to add the blue light blocking. It came to 192 for the Muse and 157 for the Atoto glasses. The Warby Parker glasses showed up in about a week. The Glasses USA took about three weeks. And for reference, here are the glasses that I got last year from Zenni Optical. And here are the glasses that I got last year from I Buy Direct. Now get this, Warby Parker had me select the frames and then the lenses that I wanted and they had me put in my prescription. When I spoke to them, they said that they put in the prescription lenses and send them to me. I keep what I want and I send the rest back which is the same thing that Glasses USA does, except for it's not. 
I went and selected the upgrades that I wanted and then I waited for the glasses to arrive. However, according to the glasses that arrived and the sheet that they sent with the glasses with the instructions, that's not the case. They send you try-on frames with generic lenses that are non-prescription and then you send them all back. If you liked one, you can then order it. But why did I have to select the upgrades that I wanted if they were just going to send me generic non-prescription lenses? And why did I have to put in my prescription? Feels like there might have been a glitch in their ordering system or on their website somewhere. So that brings us to where we are today, which is three weeks later. I went and ordered the Chamberlain Wide and the Wilkie Low Bridge. I'm going to start by comparing the frames and then the lenses. Now to keep this video relatively short, I'm just going to put a link to the previous video where I go into a lot more details about the Zenni Optical and the iBuy Direct right up here. The frames from Warby Parker feel a bit flimsy. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but the hinge rattles with both pairs. The Chamberlain is also quite tight to open. From what I can tell, it looks like they were tightened too much, which could cause it to have some issues later on if I keep it and don't adjust them. The Glasses USA frames both seem very nice. They're sturdy, they're not too loose, not too tight, and there's no rattling on the hinges. So when it comes to the frames, the Glasses USA frames are absolutely better than the Warby Parker frames, in my opinion. And now for the lenses. I used the same prescription for all of my glasses. It hasn't changed in several years. But something seems a little bit off with the Warby Parker prescription. It kind of feels like it's a little bit too strong, and I can't really read that well while I'm wearing them. The blue light blocking seems to work just fine for all of them. I got this pen from Zenni uh, with my last glasses a year ago to test the blue light blocking and all of them seem to reduce the blue light properly, which is great for people like me who spend most of their day in front of a computer. So out of these two companies, I would have to say that Glasses USA is the clear winner. The frames are better quality and they got my prescription right. Now when compared to the Zenni and the iBuy glasses from a year ago, Zenni had better frames than iBuy, but Glasses USA frames are much better quality than the Zenni. The Zenni ones rattle a little bit too, where the iBuy direct frames just feel cheap. And then iBuy had better lenses last year, which feel exactly the same as the, uh, the lenses with Glasses USA. So even though that they annoyed me with making me wait three weeks, I'm going to say that Glasses USA is the clear winner out of all four, well, five of these companies. And if you didn't see the Zenni versus iBuy review, I'll put a link to it right here. And then below it is going to be another video that I think you might enjoy. And I'll see you guys there.